Hi guys, today I'm going to uh, show you something uh, new uh, and I'm very excited and when I received this box so I have to say sorry I already opened it and test it so now I just put them back into the box and to show you what is this okay actually this is the FPV set comes with the monitor display screen and the uh, uh, camera uh, it has a set so uh, let's open this box and see what's inside okay first it has this a very nice form pad to protect the screen and first thing this is the uh, camera okay. as I say I already actually open it uh, and test it before I'm make this video so the camera actually comes together with the RX at the back and comes with this mounting is a plastic mountings and also the cover and come with this uh, connector so you just need to plug into your uh, battery and I will the battery if I'm not mistaken is for one cell battery so uh, don't use the two cell battery for this camera because you're going to damage the board um, if I'm not wrong it's 3 volt to 5 volt you can use 3 volt to 5 volt uh, battery but not more than that so um, this is the antenna and the board at the back uh, let me check the voltage again in case because it doesn't come with any manual uh, when I receive it so I have to check the their page and to double confirm well the camera camera is actually okay um, you can use 3 to 5.2 volt uh, battery input voltage okay and then the next thing is this that comes with this uh, some of this cable for your AV and another cable is for this type C and uh, USB and this is the micro USB to the AV better I just open them or oh, open the back okay this is the type C and the USB cable another one is this uh, micro USB micro USB and this AV cable and a couple of uh, small screw and uh, bow and nut Thing is for this mounting this is for the bigger camera okay because this is a small camera you see the comparisons okay. then the next bag is the mounting bracket you can use the mounting bracket and mount this uh, screen on your dumbbell RC transmitter um, what I would like to highlight here is all this mounting is actually a made of plastic I am not sure how durable they are but I believe is for weight dedu uh, dedu uh, deduction uh, reductions uh, sorry reduction purpose Okay, and then all this and also comes with the LM key and three same length screw and same size of nut and this sorry if you can't see it same length of the screw and same length of the nut and also this plastic screw and two pieces of this and the next thing will be the 
monitor the screen the display you need so as you can see you have four button here two button here and we have a LED light indicator a type C connector here a micro USB connector port here okay and this I believe is meant for the uh, the memory card but at the moment I don't think they have support this okay. so you can see they did indicate the TF here but you can't remove this the cover actually is uh, fixed and over here there is a speaker and the logo of the dumbbell C and this is the mounting point and inside there is a battery it's a 2 cell 7.4 volt 600 milliamp I tested this unit but I think the battery can only last for about half an hour okay. and remove this and it comes with two antenna. Okay, you can see put here it show here is five thousand eight. So I believe it's the frequency. Okay. Very simple, very easy to use. You you can adjust the direction and then right and overcome with these two plastic mounting bracket one is the long one one is the short one so I'm going to show you how to install this onto your uh, transmitter actually it's very simple I uh, use this short one and then just put them together put in the nut here Okay, using the screw, just don't over tight because it's plastic. I don't know how strong it is and then and the next one will be this okay this piece is actually for you to uh, mount it to your transmitter okay. so same thing okay before we mount it to the transmitter we sorry install it in this way you can see there are two holes both for each side you can install it this way but for our uh, piston type of transmitter you have to do it like this one will be this and put in a washer here and then go through the hole here and then install it like this
So next is this smoking screen and the display. Very simple and very easy. Okay, now I use one of these um, one cell lithium ion battery to connect this screen at the camera. Sorry. So first we turn on the the screen. Okay. Then I plug in the power. Just a moment, no signal. Remember to remove the cover so you can see. So I'm not sure how well you can see it. And actually it's quite clear uh even though it's not 4K I think uh but you can see it's quite uh, stable and even I move it quickly, it still capture the uh, image quite well. Alright, so, okay, then let's go through the function of all these key. Okay, um, this, the second one is actually the menu button. So you can press, you can uh, adjust the brightness of the by pressing up and down. Okay, you see down or up. Okay, then next one is the contrast. Okay, saturations, volume language language it only has a mandarin and english two language okay and this is the on off button and over here this is the uh, we call it the frequency okay so when you press this see now at the moment is at on the channel d4 so if i press it you search no image and I press again 7 8 e 1 2 3 4 okay jump to e5 channel e5 channel so this is actually the search button for the channel and then this one is actually is like an alignment for you to check the alignment okay and over here you can see there's a battery indicator and this is the signal how strong is the signal and this is the channel and at the bottom here you can see over here this is the voltage of the camera I believe because it's a 3.5 volt because this thing it doesn't come with the uh, instruction menu so everything I have to guess uh, so if anything is wrong please forgive me okay and there's a number I'll see here so overall I think it's a very good 
a nice uh, product I have tried and the uh, signal is okay uh, I haven't tried the maximum range of the signal yet uh, and it's quite stable for the the signal so you see you can adjust the angle as well okay, if you want to adjust it like this okay for your area so I hope you like this video uh, okay I'm talking about the cost forgot to uh, the cost is around $60 for this whole set uh, this is my first FPV so I'm not sure whether is it considered cheap or considered expensive but for its quality for its price uh, to me personally I, uh, I think it's okay and another thing I want to show you is the you see uh, once I remove the battery it lost signal and the bottom all the information the voltage all gone so if you want to off switch off the screen you just press and hold it you just turn it off okay take uh, some time to turn off and I recommend every time after you use just put this cover back to protect your camera lens and this mounting bracket is actually also the plastic and this piece is the metal piece and there's a button here I'm not sure what it is 